Hi guys, uh, myself Vijay Tawadhan and in this session I am going to show you how to construct the available hexagonal lamina into three different solids namely prism, pyramid and first term of pyramid as shown in the figures over here and these are the orthographic projections and these are the available isometric views of a hexagonal bottom gaze. Now one can see that for each and every solids we will be having an axis which is an imaginary line which is passing through the center of the solid and the height of the axis is taken as 50 millimeter for prism pyramid as well as the first term of pyramid. Now considering this into consideration, so using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 and a chain line, so the intersection point or the midpoint of these two diagonal lines of an hexagon in case of an isometric, let us draw a 50 millimeter line which is going to represent the axis in all the three laminas over here in case of isometrics. Now one can see that we have located the axis positions and afterward we know that we call this solid as a prism why because we have the two bases one is at the bottom one is at the top. Now A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1 is at the bottom whereas A, B, C, D, E, F is at the top. So now we have to reconstruct the same base at the top also of size 60, sorry, of uh, edges 30 millimeter for which I am going to select the hexagonal edges what we have created in an isometric and then make use of the command called as move. Move in such a way that starting from O1 it should be repositioned at an a position of O over there and then make use of a text command and you can start naming the corners as A and this corner as B, C, D, E, F and this is going to be the corner, sorry O, that is not a corner, that is going to be the axis end point. And then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter. One can join the longer edge AA1 as a continuous thin line for 0.5 millimeter thickness, then BB1 then this is going to be CC1, then this is going to be DD1 and then in the same fashion EE1 can also be joined and then FEF1 is going to be joined. However, the AA1 line style has to be changed to a continuous line. Now after completing all the longer edges, according to the visibility from the top, now you can see these longer edges which are passing inside are going to be invisible and then the edges which are behind the boundaries is going to be the invisible so these lines can be retained as a thin lines if it is required otherwise it can be eliminated now one can see that this height is 50 millimeter now one can say that the isometric view or isometric drawing of the hexagonal basic prism is completed now i'm going to show you how to convert this into a isometric projections for which one has to select the complete view and afterwards, make use of a scale command. Then, using this isometric scale factor as 0 0.8164, I am going to locate a point anywhere on the screen. Now, one can see that this is what the required isometric projections of the hexagonal prism. And one can delete the dimensions and other annotations which are not required. But, however, the construction lines can be retained. Now, I am going to show you how to construct the pyramid now. So we have learned how to construct the prism. Now I am going to show you how to construct the pyramid. For construction of a pyramid, go to a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 and a continuous line. We know that for the apex position, all these corners has to be joined. Now using the text command, I am going to connect O to A1 and O to F1 and O to B1 and also C1 to O1 and then D1 then finally E1 to O it is going to be connected. Then make use of a text command then name this corner as O dash which is going to be the apex position. Now such of the invisible edges has to be taken and it should be shown as a continuous thin line that is nothing but with, the, with respect to 0 0.13 as a th uh, thickness then one can say that this construction has been completed. Now this is called as isometric view, this has to be converted to isometric projections by which 
using a command called as scale factor of 0 0.8164 times and it can be placed anywhere on the screen like this. And now we have learned how to construct the pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, isometric projections. In the same fashion, next we are going to learn how to convert this available lamina into the first of pyramid. Now the bottom base side is going to be measuring as 30 millimeter and the top base is to be measured as 50 millimeter at the height of 50 millimeter. So for which I am going to select the base edges of the hexagon which is at the position of O1 then make use of a move command move this with respect to O1 and it has to be positioned at the O over here and then using the uh, smart dimension command now one can see that the size of the hexagon is 30 millimeter now the size of this hexagon has to be reduced to 15 millimeter for which we will use a scale factor as 15 by 30 because we wanted a 15 mm size and we have already constructed the 30 mm size the scale factor can be calculated as 15 by 30 and then i am going to locate it at the center more properly now one can see that instead of constructing the rectangle once again for the 15 mm hexagon and then constructing the hexagon is a bit laborious process by taking this into consideration so straight away using the scale command we can reduce the 30 mm uh, hexagon into 15 mm hexagon now make use of the text command and these corners could be named as a b c d e and f and this is going to be a corner o and then using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter one can start connecting the respective slant edges EAA1, FF1, EE1, DD1, then similarly CC1 and finally BB1. Now one can say that the isometric view has been completed. Now according to the visibility, so those lines which are invisible we have to select it and we can delete it or else it can be retained as a thin line using the 0.13 mm thickness. Now this completes the actual isometric view. Now it has to be converted to a isometric scale by selecting this one. Then we will go to a scale command. Then the scale factor will be 0 0.8164 times. Then I am going to place it over here. Now one can see that the isometric projections of the frustum of pyramid is also completed. Now if you are having any sort of doubt to construct these solids, please feel free to contact me. And if you have liked this video, please click, uh, click on the like button and also kindly like, uh, subscribe and share this video to all the first year engineering students. And thanks for watching this video guys once again.